Black Friday is now less than a week away. You better be prepared for it. And I just put over 3 million coins into one investment. Welcome to Trading to Glory. If you're looking for cheap and reliable EAFC 24 coins, look no further than my new partner, Footloot, and use my code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for an extra 6% at checkout. In just the last 24 hours on this account, we got banned permanently and then got unbanned, lost 100,000 coins because we couldn't sell our cards while we were banned, and then I put 2 million coins into a brand new investment, and I plan on putting more coins into this investment along with a couple of others that I'm gonna show you guys today. But before we do any of that, we have to talk about the brand new promo FC Pro Live. It's the second dynamic promo of the year, and it's giving us an opportunity to get cards that can be upgraded by professional EAFC 24 players in the FC Pro Open, which means that if these guys end up winning their matches, then these cards that are live in the game will get upgraded. Here's the FC Pro Live team, and I would not touch these cards quite yet. Buying on Saturday for a new promo is normally not a good idea, and especially given the fact that Road to the Knockouts, which was the first dynamic promo, hit their low point on Thursday, I'd probably wait until about then to buy these cards as well. Especially with Black Friday coming, we're gonna see a little bit of panic and hesitation in terms of buying, which might make these cards go lower. Now, which cards are we going to buy when it comes down to it? Well, I put together a very high production graphic here that I put together in all of about 30 seconds, so make sure to drop a like for all that effort down below. But here is Group a. Why are we investing in Group A, first of all? Well, it's because Group A plays first, 27th of November, which is next Monday, about three days after Black Friday. We're going to see these cards in action and these players in action competing in the FC Pro Open, which means that we're not going to have to wait very long for them to get their hype and go up in price. Now, of course, if they don't end up winning a match, they'll go back down, which is why we sell into the hype. So we're probably going to sell on that Sunday or Monday day of. And then you've got Group B playing on Week 2, you've got Group C on Week 3, Group D, Week 4, and then it snakes and goes back uh, Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D throughout January as well. But here are the players and their respective uh, card in the game. Mark 11 is Jean Rowe, which hasn't even been released yet. It might come in the mini release. It might come as an objective a little bit later down the line this week. And then you've got Hidalgo for Mane. Next, you have Emre Yilmaz, who has Daniel Malin. You have Renan Lodi with Yumut, and Lucas has Kolo Muani. Now, which players are the favorites? I've done some research. I don't know too much about it, but Emre Yilmaz seems to be the favorite in this group, but Mark 11 has gone far in tournaments before, so he is a shout. And then Yumut is also a very, very good player. Hidalgo and Lucas kind of being the underdogs in this group. That's what I've gathered. That doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, of course. Just like in Champions League with the road to the knockouts, anybody could get knocked out. So if you want to invest in some of the cards that are from the underdogs, they might not get up as much in price into the hype as they're not favorites to win. But if they do end up winning, those cards could shoot up much higher. Looking at the current prices of these guys in the game, Emre Yilmaz, who is one of the favorites to go far, Daniel Malin, only 24,000 coins as it is. He obviously had a pretty usable gold card at the beginning of the year, but is this a card that's going to hold its value long term? We will see, but at 24,000 coins, I'm looking at a card that isn't too much risk. Of course, do not buy at 24K. Wait until at least a little bit later in the week, and then we can make our decision on when to buy these cards. But given how cheap he is already, could be a card with a lot of upside and not a lot of downside. Then you look at some of the cards like Kolo Muani, who are nearly 1.1 million coins, and I think, yes, he's going to come down just naturally throughout the week a little bit, but if he does get an upgrade, that ends up being one of the best strikers in the game, and if he gets full, multiple upgrades, he could go very, very far up in price, but unfortunately, he doesn't have the attachment to a, car, uh, a player like Mark 11 or Emre Yilmaz, it is going to be on Lucas's shoulders, who again, isn't one of the favorites to go through, but who says that he can't surprise us. So that's what we're looking at in terms of investments for the FC Pro Live cards. As you guys can see by my transfer list, I have a lot of SBC fodder on it already. I just started buying these cards and I don't want to go unassigned because that's annoying. And that means you can't open packs and cards get lost. And so if you don't want to go unassigned, but you want to invest 
invest in SBC fodder, follow my method and follow my lead with this. First of all, with these cards, I'm going out and buying every single player between the rating of 87, 88, 89, 90, and then De Bruyne at 91 rating. I've bought every single gold card at fodder price and added them to my club. So I've bought one Alexandra Pop, one Osimhen, one Kimmich, one Oblak, one Ender, one Bruno Fernandes, and I've added them into my club. So if we go ahead and take a look at our club right now, we're going to see a lot of these gold cards on the club right now, and they are all tradable. Maybe bar one or two of them that I've already packed untradeable for fodder but these cards are tradable and they are ready to go up in price in previous years we have seen fodder go up in price on black friday for one main reason and that main reason is pretty predictable ea like money and when ea like money that means that they need to make packs valuable during black friday one easy way to make packs valuable is to make sbc fodder more expensive which means that when people open packs they think, okay, I'm getting something out of this. I need these 88 rated cards. Even if I'm not packing Mbappe, I'm not packing a super usable meta card. I am packing fodder that I can throw into a player of the month Mbappe SBC or any upgrade SBCs that we may get during that promo. And even though I've already added all of the high rated, I'm probably going to end up buying every single 86, every 85, every 84, and if they get low enough, every single 83 rated as well, and just add one of each to the club. Elite, you told us to sell all of our gold metas like three weeks ago. Can we finally buy those cards back? No, not quite yet, but you're on the right track. I'll tell you what, here's the graph of Virgil van Dyke right now, as his card has dropped ever since that we called that drop for the pre-crash all the way throughout the month of November. Now, one thing that we have seen over the course of the last couple of days is that his card has started to go back up, and that is the case for a few of those gold metas. Is this trend going to continue all week? My answer is probably not. Where are we on the graph of last year? Here's Virgil van Dyke. His card dropped all throughout the uh, month of November, and I think we're about right here. This little plateau that we saw the week leading up to Black Friday, and then where does Black Friday actually occur? Right here. So next weekend, he hits a bottom point around Sunday or Monday, and that's when we buy. Why does it hit the low point then? Well, we've got two reasons. One, of course, Black Friday is going to bring a lot of supply. That's going to push this card down in price. Two, we're going to see a lot of people who have invested in fodder sell off their cards throughout that weekend. After they sell fodder, that means we're going to have a ton of coins to spend. And when you have a ton of coins to spend, you go out and buy your team. And that's why this card went from 80,000 coins all the way up to 121,000 coins in just under two weeks after Black Friday was over. So once Black Friday finishes and the weekend next weekend is done, that's when you want to buy all of your gold meta cards back. The higher rated, the better. The lower rated, it might be a little bit more iffy. And the next promo that's going to be active during Black Friday is called Thunderstruck, a new promo we've never seen before, and the card design looks like a Team of the Week card on crack. If you want more information on this, guys, do not forget to hit that subscribe button to the channel right now so you don't miss out on any more episodes, especially as we cover this Black Friday market crash, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, comment pineapple anywhere in your comment down below below and I'll drop a heart. I appreciate you making it to the end of the video and I want to show that appreciation to my OGs that make it to the end. Anyways, guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace out.